It's that time again. What happened to the music? What's up everyone and welcome to Ask Baltage, the place where you could ask your internet marketing questions. Um, I know I haven't made a video for a while, that's because I was actually just got back from Miami. We had a big internet marketing convention there with WSI, so I, th I think there's about 400 consultants give or take there. So it's great seeing a lot of uh, familiar faces and uh, some new ones as well. But um, I've been kind of tied up with that, so hopefully moving forward I get to make at least one video a week with all the questions that you guys have been asking me. Um, while I was at this question, you know, there's a lot of talk about social media and where it's going towards. And one of the common questions that we often get asked is, how do you privatize your settings on Facebook? Because, you know, believe it or not, a lot of us use Facebook for both our personal life and our business life as well. So you do want to keep those things separated because, I mean, if you're at a party, you have a couple drinks, or some people tag a video of you or a photo of you that might not be appropriate for you to share with the world, you obviously want to keep your personal life and your family life and your business life all separated and not create multiple accounts on Facebook to do so. So having that said, let me first show you how I've set up my personal Facebook uh, account and then I'll get into how you guys could fix your privacy settings so you guys separate all that um, business stuff with your personal stuff. So. I've got my own Facebook profile. This is when I log in, I get to see everybody on my network that's connected. And that consists of my friends, my family, and my business associates. So I've actually created something called lists or groups of people. And I've organized all my friends on Facebook into these categories. So the first category I have is called family. So any type of family events and so forth, pictures, videos, birthdays, you name it, I've got a group that only my family stuff could see and it keeps and it's separate from all my uh, personal and my business stuff. Um, I've also got a separate profile for just some of my friends and this is, you know, when we go out, we play poker, we do all sorts of crazy things and again, that stuff stays separate than even for my, my family stuff. Um, and then I've got an internet consulting group as well where I have a whole bunch of marketing consultants worldwide that follow me and I, I share my tips, my tricks and my videos with them. So that way my, my friends don't have to hear about how to optimize videos and how to optimize Twitter. I'm not you know, spamming them with all that stuff and the people that are interested, they only get that specific message. Um, so those are my categories. I got fa family, I got friends, and I got internet consultants. I've actually got one more. It's, it's a small little one called mom, and basically all she sees is a, a photo of my face. That's basically it, and, and, and hopefully that just keeps her happy. So that's, uh, that's the way I've set up my account. So to do this and to make sure that you know, you've separate your own uh, personal account from your family life, this is the steps in terms of how to do so. So number one, you've got to create something called a list first. So when you're logged into Facebook, if you go over account and click on edit friends, basically you'll have a list of all your different friends that are part of your uh, network on Facebook. And you want to click on something that says over here, create a list. So I'm going to go ahead and create a list. And let's just pretend I'm going to create a list for uh, the staff members that work with me um, at M3 Social Minds. So all right, M3 Social Minds Staff. And then I could start typing names of people that are staff. So I've got Doug in here. Um, let's add in Linda. And let's add in Ryan. And let's add in Chris. So I'm, I'll just add four for now. So I've created uh, a list of four people. And I've added them to the list, as you can see. So you could just type in the names of people or, or your, your network that you want to add to the account and click on the Create List button. Now that's done on the left-hand side, here's all the different lists I currently have. But you'll see there's a new one called M3 Social Mind Staff. And I've got four people right now that are part of that list. And of course, if I want to add more people, I could do so um, to this list and, and keep it growing. So the way you guys want to do it, I, I mean, just to keep things simple, you might have one list called Business. And you add all your business people in part of that one list. So that's how you create a list and you could create multiple lists and people could be, you know, so I, I might have M3 Social Mind staff and you can see Doug is in there and I might have another one called uh, my masterminds group where, you know, I, I've got a few people in our network in which we brainstorm just different marketing ideas and share our experiences with and Doug Shots, he could be part of that group as well. So the same person could be part of multiple different groups or channels uh, that you create. 
So now that I've got my list created, the next thing I want to do is go to my privacy settings and fix that up uh, because I might not want, for in this example, my, my staff um, at my company to see all the crazy things I, I do on the weekends. So I'll just go to account um, and privacy settings. And I say I do all these crazy things on the weekend, but here I am on a Sunday making an internet marketing video. So this is this is my wild weekend. But anyways, so I, I you know you go sorry you go to account and you go to privacy settings, and then at the bottom you'll see a little link that says customize settings. We want to click on that, and you want to click on customize settings. Once you're in here, there's pr pretty much two categories that you want to look at, things that you share. So these are posts that I send out and things I've specified to Facebook, like fam family relationships, things that I'm interested in. So all this stuff, you could control as to who you want to see it and who you don't want to see it. Um, but more importantly, things other people share, because this is always the biggest concern people have. If somebody uploads a photo of me, Baltage Girl, and tags me in it, you know, all my network could probably we see it and I don't want everybody to see all my photos that my friends take photos of so what I want to do is on, on this setting which is photos and videos I'm tagged in hit the drop down menu and click on custom now you can manually add people so I've actually selected certain of my friends that I don't care if they see any of my photos and videos but one of the key things which is hide this from and now I'm going to type in m3 social line staff so that was that list of remember those four people. Um, so whatever, so let's just say it's business. That was a group that you've created on your Facebook account. Um, you'd want to type in the word business in here, and that whole list will populate. So right now, I'll hit save settings, and basically those four people: Doug, Linda, Chris, and Ryan. Now will not be able to see any photos or videos of my friends when they upload it and they tag me in it. The next section is can comment on posts. So if you're worried about people writing maybe profanity things on your wall, I mean, even though they're, they're your friends and you've added them, but if you're still kind of scared that, look, they might write something stupid that you don't want the whole world to see, you could actually block certain people from writing things on your wall. So again, that's what you would do with this setting. Um, friends that can post on my wall, by default, that's enabled. Um, can see wall posts by my friend. This is also another important one that you should fix. For example, if if one of my friends said, "Wow, voltage, that was a crazy time. We were out till five in the morning, partying away, blah 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 blah," and then you call in sick for work the next day, and people could see that. So, and they started to question things. And again, not to say I do these things, but I'm just trying to think of the most generic examples out there. So, if you're um, worried about what your friends are uh, are writing on your personal wall that might somehow interfere with your business contacts or you don't want them to see it in the first place again you'd want to hit the drop down hit custom and hide from these people so I would type in m3 social mind staff and that way if my friends post anything on my personal wall I don't have to worry about Doug Linda Ben um, Ryan and Chris seeing that stuff not that I mind I'm just using this as an example so hopefully they don't get offended by this um, and that's pretty much it I, I mean there are other things you could control in here but the two things that I want to stress in terms of what you should privatize to keep your business life and your personal life separate is photos and videos that you're tagged in and um, can see wall posts by friends those are two important ones anything else you basically control yourself so for example if I upload a photo album myself you're able to specify the privacy settings in that as well when you upload the album to see who do you want to show the album to and who you want to hide the album from and in that specific example again you could select anybody from your list so there you have it. That's how you do that. And one other quick thing: if once you played around with these settings, if you're if you want to just do a quick check to make sure that you got it right, if you go to the top here, and there's a little icon that says, um, "Let me go back, uh, preview my profile," and you click on that link, you could actually type in somebody's name on your list, and th it'll sh Facebook will show you how they would see your account. So for example, if I type in um, Doug. Doug Shust, because remember, I've now I've put him into that group, and if I click on wall, basic, you'll notice he could only see posts that I actually create myself, um, and that's pretty much it. Um, so that's that was the privacy setting there. Now, if I type in somebody else, for example, Julia, she's one of my friends, um, and, and type this is the way Julia would see my information. So you could see now she's seeing posts from other people 
um, that I was writing on my wall, like Pam and Sonia and so forth, in which case Doug never had a chance to see because I put him into that list uh, called M3 Social Mind Staff, and I blocked um, that whole group from seeing any wall posts um, that my friends are making on my personal wall. So there you guys have it. That's your short little video tutorial on how you could separate your Facebook account um, and, and your business and your personal life, all that together. Hopefully that helps you out and it saves you from getting into a lot of trouble. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye.